Most crayfish reproduce by having sex. But an all-female species of mutant crayfish has managed to evolve the ability to clone itself, without the need for a male. Known as marmocrabs, or marbled crayfish, the species' remarkable cloning ability has led it to multiply out of control. Now scientists are warning the female crustaceans are beginning to take over Europe and parts of Africa because they are reproducing so quickly. While it may sound like the plot of the horror movie, they say there may be some benefits to the strange crayfish invasion. The crayfish's unusual evolution could also provide a strategy to tackle cancer as it clones itself in a similar way. Since being found in 1995, the marbled crayfish has spread from Germany across Europe and into Africa in huge numbers. This crayfish is a serious pest, Gerhard Schultz, an evolutionary biologist at Humboldt University in Berlin, who has tracked its rapid spread across the globe, told Science magazine. The European Union has now banned the species, and says it must not be sold, kept, distributed, or released to the wild. In a new study published in the journal Nature Ecology and Evolution, researchers sequence the genomes of the 11 marbled crayfish to see how they spread so rapidly. All 11 creatures had nearly identical genomes, suggesting they were clones. Researchers believe these mutant creatures began evolving by accident almost 25 years ago, after a German aquarium hobbyist bought a crayfish that he was told was a Texas crayfish. But he was surprised when his marbled crayfish produced hundreds of eggs at a time and grew large. He gave away the crayfish, and they eventually ended up being sold in pet shops in Germany. But owners soon began noticing that their marmocrubs were reproducing without the need to mate, and all offspring were female, fertile and clones of their mother. Once the new species of crayfish evolved, male slough crayfish could no longer produce offspring with the female marmocrubs, even though the male slough fish could still physically mate with the marmocrubs. The marmocrubs reproduced rapidly, and as owners began dumping them in rivers and lakes, they spread through Europe, as well as Japan and Madagascar. Currently, no one knows exactly how many crayfish are spreading around the world, but they believe the number is significant and rapidly growing. Here we have an evolutionary event that has happened only a very short time ago, Frank Licko, head of divisions of epigenetics at the German Cancer Research Center told Newsweek. Certainly there will be some changes, genetic changes over time, that will make it more normal. At this specific time point in evolution it's very unique. In their new study, researchers from the German Cancer Research Center in Heidelberg, Germany provided proof that the all-female offspring of the marmocrubs are genetically identical. We could detect only a few hundred variants in a genome that is larger than the human genome, said Dr. Frank Licko, the lead author of the research. That is an incredibly small number. The minute variations can be ascribed to natural mutations. The researchers also examined how well the crayfish are able to spread via asexual reproduction, and its reproductive success came as a surprise to the researchers. It was known that the crayfish can establish itself in the wild after releases from the aquarium, Dr. Licko said. But the news was that it can spread so rapidly and massively. Aside from subtropical Madagascar, marmocrubs also occur in Sweden, Japan, Freiburg, Hanover and Heidelberg highlighting the species' remarkable adaptability without sexual reproduction. This was surprising to the researchers because it is widely known and accepted that sexual reproduction, and the resulting mix of paternal and maternal genes that enlarge genetic variety, facilitate rapid adaptation to adverse environmental conditions. Although marmocrobs are all clones born with the same genes, they can adapt to a wide variety of environments via epigenetic mechanisms, regulated by small chemical tags attached to DNA. These epigenetic mechanisms regulate how genetic information is interpreted, and they work like switches that turn genes on or off. According to the researchers, it is this epigenetic regulation could make marmocrobs interesting for tumor researchers. Scientists have known for a couple of years that epigenetic mechanisms also play a key role in these processes, and can influence cancer risk and the disease course. A phenomenon called clonal evolution occurs both in marmocrobes and in tumors. Tumor genomes also evolve clonally, because they go back to a single original cell, said Dr. Licko. The research team now wants to use marbled crayfish to further investigate their role.